everyone. I'm your host, Taylor, and thank you so much for joining us on today's episode of the Holly Jolly Kitchen. We're kicking off the Christmas season and I can hardly contain my excitement. I love Christmas. I can't say it enough. I love opening gifts, giving gifts, spending time with family, and decorating Christmas trees. But one, of the best parts about Christmas is the holly jolly singing all around. Everyone, sing along to some of my favorite carols with me. Angels we have heard on high, sweetly singing o'er the plains. And the mountains in reply, echoing their joyous rain. Now, it's time for our next segment of the show, Game Time. You're going to love this. We're playing Christmas Trivia. We'll put a question on the screen and you'll have a few seconds to guess before the correct answer appears. Ready? Here we go. How many reindeer are there in the story of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer? A, three, B, one, C, nine, D, 10, C, nine. True or false? The wise men followed the moon to find Jesus. False. They followed a star. What are Frosty's eyes made out of? A. Buttons. B. Coal. C. Rocks. D. Acorns. B. Coal. What is the main ingredient in gingerbread cookies? A. Ginger. B. Flour. C, chocolate. D, sugar. D, sugar. How'd you do? I'm sure you were awesome. Now, as you can see here on our show, we love everything about Christmas, but we especially love making and tasting yummy Christmas treats. Here, we have some friends of the show, Graham and Reese, and they are serving up all the fun as they take some requests, 
challenges, and even just general questions from our viewers at home. I'm sure our audience has cooked up something really special for Graham and Reese today. So let's check in and see what's up in the test kitchen. Reese, tell me you know what time it is. It's Christmas time! <laughs> yeah, it's also time to get cooking. So, what's on the menu today? Hit us with that drum roll. Oh. Today's test kitchen challenge <gasps> is called Taste the Cake. Hold up, taste the cake? That doesn't sound like a recipe. That's because it's not a recipe. Get yourself ready for some good news. Okay. Instead of cooking various kinds of cakes today, our viewers have actually sent in their own personal cake creations for us to taste. Ta-da! Um, well, this is gonna be interesting. I don't really know if I'm vibing with the idea of trying something from someone else's kitchen. Oh, come on, Graham. Where's your Christmas spirit? I'm all about people sending in their recipe suggestions, but their cakes, I mean, how clean are those cooks? Like, what did they use to wash their hands? Did they use soap and water? Did they use just water? Reese, what if they used olive juice? Olive juice? Who even does that? Graham, I'm sure people are careful when it comes to cleanliness in the kitchen. Well, do you think they're careful enough to clean their countertops before they start? What if they haven't cleaned their oven in years? What if there are gross little creepy crawlers all around their countertops and in their mixing bowls? What if I bite into a spider? A spider, Reese, Reese, a spider. Dude, chill. <laughs> I'm sure they clean their hands and their kitchens. Now, forget all of that craziness and let's see what kind of cake this viewer sent in. Is that a red velvet cake? You got it, Graham. Apparently, this viewer used an extra amount of red food coloring to make this cake the color of Santa's suit. But did they use a hairnet? Not just one hairnet. One hairnet is never enough. They need to make sure they use two hairnets. I mean, I'm just trying to make sure there's no hair in there. Oh. Come on, Graham. What are you so afraid of? I'm sure they keep their hair far away from the cake. Here, let's just take a bite. Uh-uh. No way. Oh, no. Come on. Mm -mm. Come on, Graham. No. Not shoo, going shoo, to. Shoo, the train's pulling into the station. No! You're really going to be like that. Okay. Mmm. <laughs> this is strong, deadly opposite. Well, I'll just take your word for it. <laughs> um, okay, uh, let's get this over with and see what kind of cake this next viewer sent in. Oh! <laughs> You've got to be kidding me! It's, uh... It, it's a fruitcake. Fruitcake? Man, this stuff always makes an appearance at Christmas. Yeah, I can't even look at it. I don't think I've even met anyone who actually eats this stuff, but that's about to change, right? No, nope, no, nope, not for me, I don't think so. I mean, people re-gift this stuff for a reason. It lasts for like, ever. I mean, who even knows how long this thing's been around? For all we know, this could have been around before cars were invented. Hmm. I don't, I don't know. Oh. 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 You know, I don't even really know what's in fruitcake. Uh. I mean, it kind of looks like some cherries. Oh. Pineapple. Or maybe, maybe pickles. Are pickles a fruit? See, now that is a real life problem for me. That fruit may have actually been fruit at one point or another, but that fruit is so old, I think it's older than fossilized dinosaur bones. And don't get me started with what could be growing on it. Oh, come on, man. We owe it to our viewers. What are you so afraid of? I'm terrified of foods when one, I don't have a clue how they're prepared, and two, I don't know what could be in them. I mean, come on, Reese, pickles. You do what you want, Reese, but I'm done. Oh, ginger snap. Those two can really get into some Christmas craziness from time to time. When they find themselves in the middle of a Christmas catastrophe on this show, they can hit the panic button, and that's where I step in as the host and help out. 
Now, if you've ever been in a kitchen, you've probably seen a recipe book. This is every chef's best friend. When you follow the recipe exactly, you get an awesome end result that you and all of your friends can enjoy. But just like we saw with Graham and Reese, not every recipe would turn out into something you want to eat. Graham wasn't really into the idea of trying new things because he was so afraid of what he didn't know. Fortunately, I like to run my kitchen on God's recipe book. This is not one that shows us how to make cookies, cakes, candies, or pies. This recipe book helps us to know how to make right choices inside and outside of the kitchen. Who knows what we call God's recipe book? The Bible. That's right, it's called the Bible. And seeing Graham struggle with fear reminds me of a story in the Bible about a woman who was pretty afraid, but God showed her that no matter what, he can do anything. Here, check it out. There's a story in the Bible where we see that God can do anything. It's about a young girl who was living in the town of Galilee. Her name was Mary, and she was engaged to a man named Joseph, but they weren't married yet. One day, while Mary was alone, God sent an angel named Gabriel to give her a message. You see, God had something amazing that he wanted to do in Mary's life. The angel said, Greetings, the Lord is with you. You are very special to him. But Mary was very confused about what the angel said. She wondered, what does this mean? Gabriel said, Don't be afraid, Mary. God is very pleased with you. Then he told her how she would become pregnant and give birth to a son, and that she would name him Jesus. Jesus would be great and be called the Son of the Most High. Mary wondered how she could have a baby when she wasn't even married. But Gabriel explained it all to her. Gabriel said, The Holy Spirit will come to you, and the power of the Most High God will cover you. He went on to tell her that the baby would be holy and be called the Son of God. That wasn't all, though. There was even more good news. Gabriel also told Mary that her cousin Elizabeth was pregnant. Even though Elizabeth was very old, she was going to have a son too, because God can do anything. Mary trusted God and said, I am the servant of the Lord. Let this happen to me as you say. Then, just like that, the angel went away. Mary got up and went quickly to a town close by to see Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary was there, she ran to meet her and said, Mary, God has blessed you more than any other woman, and he has blessed the baby to which you will give birth. When I heard your voice, the baby inside me jumped with joy. You are blessed because you believed that what the Lord said would really happen. It was true. Mary believed God could do anything. Mary began to sing a song praising and thanking God for what he had done. She could have been afraid or worried when the angel gave her this news, but she knew that everything would be just fine because God can do anything. As you saw from that story, Mary had a lot of things that she could have been afraid of. First of all, seeing angels would be pretty terrifying. Mary could have been scared that Joseph would not love her anymore, and she could have been afraid to be a mom to God's son. But instead, when Mary got the surprising news about Jesus, she understood that God could do anything. God had big miracles in store for Mary, and even bigger miracles for the baby she was going to give birth to. Who remembers what that baby's name was? Jesus! That's right, it was Jesus. God gave Mary a baby, and that baby went on to be the savior of the world. Although Mary was probably afraid sometimes, she chose to believe that God can do anything. And that's what we need to know today. Let's say it together. God can do anything. Let's say it one more time. God can do anything. Great work, everyone. 
To celebrate all the fun we're having, let's sing a song. Well, jingle all the way. That was such a fun song. Now, before we can wrap up today's show, we've got one more thing to do. Let's pray together. Just bow your head and close your eyes. God, thank you for sending us your son, Jesus, so that we can celebrate Christmas. When we're feeling afraid, help us to remember that you can do anything. And thank you for giving us the story of Mary in the Bible to help us see that just like you did a miracle for Mary, you can do anything for us. We love you, amen. And that is it for our show today. I'll see you next time on Holly Jolly Kitchen. <laughs>